How's it going guys? Dre here and today we are going to take over the universe in Nimbatus. This is a new game coming out. It's a space drone constructor where you have to build different vehicles and take over planets throughout the universe to do different missions. It's an absolutely awesome game that I am extremely excited about. So we're checking out the pre-alpha today. Just keep that in mind as we are playing, but I will say this is a very polished pre-alpha, that's for sure. It's actually on Kickstarter right now, so if you want to know anything more about the game, if you want to support the game, links will be in the description. Let's waste no time, though. Get right into it so you can see how this game plays. Now, we're going to start a new game now. I did do a little bit of gameplay uh, before I did this. Not too much, though, so just a warning ahead of time. This is going to be as much of a learning curve for me as as it is you guys. All right, and as you can see, uh, this is warning you that it is an early preview build, so keep that in mind, but I don't think you'll really notice when we do get into it. So here is the universe. We have some locations that we can go to here. We can also zoom out and see the true scale of this. Now, I believe each one of these plus signs is a new planet that we can attack. That or just a new void in space, I'm not totally sure just yet. I have not done the first planet yet, which is Cumi. That's the one we start off. So we got some other locations here we can go to, uh, different types of arenas for testing and whatnot, and the scrapyard. Don't know too much about those just yet. We'll learn about those as we get throughout the game. But right now, we're going to go to Planet Cumi, and uh, we can start building our first drone. That's the goal today, to build a drone and do these two missions. So you can see the description of the planet here, which is some important information because it tells you the size, as well as other important things like gravity, air resistance, risk level, and, of course, resource amount. Uh, our missions right now are to destroy the transmitter, uh, which we can explore nearby locations on the universe when we do do that. And if we destroy the hives, which are, you know, the enemy spawns, we get a rare weapon. So, obviously, those are two goals that hopefully we can complete today. So let's move on to selecting the drone. Now, this is where this game gets kind of cool, because as we go throughout the universe, we can save these drones, and then we can pick and choose which drone we need, depending on, obviously, the planet. If it's different gravity, we might need to change some stuff. You get the idea. So here we are. Now, uh, this is actually our drone brain. This is the hub of your drone, if you will. This is the heart. If this dies, bad things happen. We got all our building materials over here. There is a little bit of a tutorial. I don't know why it didn't pop up, uh, but it kind of tells you how to play. I did go through this, but uh, if you guys want to slow down the game, if you are curious about how building works in this game, feel free to check it out. I did quickly go over this, though, so I think I'm ready to go and build our first drone. Now, let's quickly go through this stuff so you can kind of see how this stuff works. We got basic blocks here if you just want to add structure. Uh, then we got, of course, our thrusters, which I hope I don't have to explain what a thruster does, but it thrusts things forward. So, that is that. We got batteries, which power our weapons. Uh, we then have fuel tanks, which power our thrusters. Moving on, we also have shields. Uh, currently, we only have one. I don't know if more unlock or not. Uh, then we get into the fun stuff. We got the mechanical parts, like a decoupler, uh, motorized hinges, as well as free hinges. So you can get to some crazy builds if you do want to. Uh, obviously, the fun stuff, the weapons here. Now, we do unlock more weapons as we do take over planets. So uh, these are probably very basic ones. And uh, we're going to try out a few of them today. I like that there's a, a saw blade. So you can do melee builds if you want to. We might even do that. I don't know. Now, this is where it gets pretty interesting. This game is totally autonomous if you want it to be. So you can set up a drone to do anything you want. For example, run away from enemies, shoot enemies, things like that. Uh, it's got interesting things like logic gates and sensors. These are the sensors right here. We have directional sensor, a speed sensor, and a distance sensor. Now, this stuff we're probably not going to get into today, but uh, maybe later on. And these are all the logic gates, or I guess what, are, what do they call them in this game? Logic parts. So we have a button, an if gate, a not gate, an and gate, an or gate, uh, a NAND gate, an ZOR gate, a switch, and these are all things you do or you use if you want to kind of program your own drone. So it does get pretty crazy if you do want it to be. But the cool part is it can be as basic or as crazy as you want it to be. You can also just build your own drone that you control, which is what we're going to do for this first episode. So let's get into building this thing and let's have some fun. I'm going to start off with solar panels, which will obviously recharge the batteries. That's going to be good. And I don't really know what I'm going to try and build today. We're just going to have a fun time. You can see the arrow here. That's the front of our craft. This is the back of our craft. That's all that's doing. We also have some large batteries. So let's uh, kind of put these guys like this. And I don't know how much power we're going to need, so we're going to have to do some testing. But uh, I do like the idea of that. Now, of course, we need fuel tanks. And uh, 
The thing I like about this game is each tank does have its own unique benefits. It's not just one has a small amount of fuel and one has a large amount of fuel. For example, the large fuel tank or the big fuel tank has a refill rate of zero, meaning once you're out of fuel, good luck, Chuck. You don't have any more. And then the smaller tanks, or I guess it's considered a large fuel tank, uh, this one does actually refill, and then the smaller guy really quickly refills. So it all depends on what you want to build. Uh, we're going to start off with something basic, so we're going to do the large fuel tanks right now. And uh, I think we're going to need quite a few of these, so I'm just going to kind of do a little design here and see where it goes. We also have some interesting stuff like center of mass. We do kind of want to pay attention to that. Uh, and as you can see, it is on the fly, which is really nice. That's what that yellow thing is. That's the, your center of mass right there. So that's a lot of fuel tanks. I don't know if we need that many. We can always edit this later on, though. Uh, as for shields, I'm not going to even do any of those just yet. We just want the basic stuff. Weapons, propulsion, and more weapons, damn it. All right, but now for the fun stuff, let's get into the thrusters. So we got four different thrusters we can choose from. Uh, a jump thruster, for example, that's like a, a boost thruster, I'm assuming. So if you need a quick way to get out of something, you throw those on there. Again, we're not going to go too crazy today. So we got the thruster and then the small thruster. That's probably mostly what we're going to use. Now, if you look, you can see everything's connected to the heart. But the cool thing is you don't need that. You can actually connect it to wherever you want. So I actually now connected it to that gas tank. And now it will be hinged on that, which uh, can be a good thing. So we're going to put that guy there. And we're going to put this guy here. Uh, again, I don't know how much power we're going to need, so I think we're just going to go for it. Let's do one more right in the middle here. Something like that looks good to me. Uh, yeah, this craft's going to be a weird one, I'll tell you that much, but it looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. Uh, and I'm thinking now, before we get too far into this, we are definitely going to need some more batteries. So let's just finish this off like that. That looks fantastic. And let's put some steering thrusters on this. So right now we have these should all be on W. It's pretty smart at knowing what you want it to do. Uh, if you put the thrusters obviously in the back of the craft, that usually means forward propulsion. So it's going to activate on the W key, but you can totally customize those if it does wonk up. Now, if I put this sideways, we can go right sideways. This should hopefully put it on D, or I guess technically it would be A because we're pushing it to the other side. So it should, yes, it no all knowledge is that I'm trying to push the craft sideways so it would activate on A. I just like that it's smart enough to know that. Uh, we're actually going to, well, I may as well keep that there like that. I'm going to put my turning thrusters right sideways like that, and I really like the look of that. So these should be good. Does it actually, did it acknowledge that these are turning thrusters? No. See, it thinks it's a W. So that's a quick fix. That one's to turn right, so we're going to put that on D, and then this one's to turn left, so we're going to put that on A. Now, we should be good to just test these things out. So we're going to do a quick test flight here. And, ooh, okay, turning's really, really slow. So we definitely want to put some more thrusters on that. But this craft is really, really stable, so that's good. And you can see my gas tanks. I'm kind of just trying to see how much gas I use. And this is actually a pretty good amount. These tanks will slowly regen fuel as well as we go about it. So yeah, turning was a bit slow, so I'm just going to angle these a little bit more outwards like that. And I also think if we... Control C and then Control V. Yes, we can actually duplicate those, and we're just going to do that, dude. I the building in this game, fantastic. I have done a lot of building games, and I will say this is one of the best ones in terms of just being so easy to use. So props to them for that. Let's test flight this again, and yeah, you know what? That's not awful. We definitely. I feel like a lot of my mass is in the front, which makes sense. I mean, look at this craft. So it is going to be kind of hard to drive, but this isn't too bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go back to the editor. Uh, we obviously need some backwards thrust as well. So I think we'll move on to doing that. All right, so we don't need to go crazy with backwards thrust. We just need a little bit just in case we get stuck on the planet or something. So I'm going to attach it to the solar panel. It should be, yes, attached to the solar panel so you can see. And we're just going to put that guy there. We will control, actually, we can't control C that because it's on the other solar panel. Unless, no, you know what? It's just easier to just do it this way. So we'll do it like that. There we go. And now these ones, did it automatically know? A, yes. No, that's totally wrong. A is not the right button. We want these to be on S. So when we try and back up, those will engage. So now we got the thrusters done. This is a pretty cool looking craft. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's move on to the fun stuff. 
the weapons. We got lots of different choices. We got uh, Giga Drills. We even got Spikes. So, for example, actually, let's do that. Oh, okay, we want to connect it to that. And then we can put, like, Spikes on the outside of this, which, uh... I'm assuming if we hit anything, we'll do a little bit of damage and probably we'll keep these a little bit more defensive as well, which is something we clearly want. So we're just going to put a couple more spikes on this. We don't need to go crazy because the more we add, the heavier this thing is, the slower it is. And I want to keep it relatively fast. We can obviously add more thrusters if we do need the propulsion. All right, but let's move on to the weapons. This is something I haven't done too much yet. I have played with the short beam lasers. They are great for mining. So I'm going to put some of these on here and... What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to angle these outwards because the way it works is it's a beam, right? So if we angle it sideways, it's going to get more terrain affected by it. So I'm actually going to put these there like that. And then this one there like this. And, and that's going to shoot out beams, which can be used as weapons or as mining tools. And then these should be on what button? Mouse zero. So we'll test this out just to make sure it works. And yes, that's going to dig through. And also we can obviously damage these guys with them as well. Ooh. Okay, I'm actually having a really hard time turning now, so just that little addition seems to have really affected it. Uh, obviously, these things don't do too much damage, so let's go back to the editor. And I'm hoping once we move the center of mass kind of back to the middle, this craft will react better. Obviously, the more I have in the back end, the more it will sway itself. Right now, it's basically in the middle of the craft, which is making turning kind of hard. So... Let's just try this out. We have those on mouse zero. I'm actually going to turn those to space because these are not going to be our main weapons. These are going to be for mining. Now let's get to the main weapons, which I have no idea what I'm using. These are the only things I've used, guys. So it's all testing from here uh, after the short beam lasers. Rocket gun tower. That sounds really, really cool. Rocket sniper. I'm not a huge sniper fan, so I don't want slow, powerful weapons. I want lots of little weapons that do lots and lots of damage. Flames tower sounds pretty cool, too. Uh, but I'm thinking the rocket tower or the rocket gun. I mean, check out that thing. That looks awesome. Now, do we want to add some sort of mass in the front? I guess we could add this here. Is that going to affect it, though? Let's test flight and see if this kind of breaks it. No, it's actually... And then that space... Ooh! Yeah, it's actually... Oh, it broke my laser, as you can see. So, this is physics-based, and that kind of screwed up my laser. It just bounced back, but I don't like that it's kind of screwing it up. Those lasers are very, very important. So, actually, what we're going to do is just move that up like that. Let's actually rotate this. And then this will be our weapon connector. We'll have all our weapons connected to this. It's not going to be a pretty craft, but we're making something, that's for sure. Uh, all right, so first of all, let's try out the rocket connector. Gun towers. I really like the sound of this, so we're going to connect it to that. That way, we have all them right here. And I have no idea how far these things should be spread. So let's go crazy, though. Let's uh, let's have a good time here. And actually, we should probably just control C and then control V. Bam. Just like that. Uh, again, I have no idea how many of these I should have. So we're going to go with that many. That looks even on each side, isn't it? Yeah, three and three. Let's test flight this out. Now that the center of mass is kind of in the middle... Ooh, yeah, okay, that, that made it even worse. All right, so what I'm going to do, I moved two of my thrusters up to the front of it, and I'm going to keep these guys nice and straight in the back here. And I just want to make sure everything is nice and even, so I'm hoping it looks like everything's even. It's really hard to tell, though, so let's give this a quick test flight. And that's actually doing a lot better now, as you can see. We have a much higher turning radius. Let's actually try these weapons out. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. And how's our power usage? It's actually... Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at the uh, solar panels. It's regening the power fast enough to the point where we're not even using the batteries at all. Look at this. This is fantastic, though. In terms of movement, not the best craft, but you know what? I think it's got so much power output, we should be okay. So let's give this thing a test. I just want to add one more thing to this, I think. Uh, which are these shield generators or energy shields now? I'm assuming this does a radius around it So we're just gonna put this down and yes, there's a key that we got to do So let's try we'll put it on R and I don't know how big these things are, but I'm assuming it's a bubble shield That's that's what I'm going for. So we're just gonna put these guys Kind of all over the place here. We got four of them. Let's test flight this out and bubble Oh, that only did one of them, but that's actually way bigger than I thought so 
That's right, we have to connect all of these to R. So we'll try that real quick, just add these to R. No big deal. And this is what I love so much about this game. The building is so easy. You don't really need to spend hours, which you usually do in games like this, to truly understand it. So test play once again. Shields fully bubble the craft. That's what you want. Uh, the only thing I really wish we could improve a little bit is the turning. But I gotta say, overall, I am pretty happy. I just want to make sure, looking at my power output in terms of feel, you can see it definitely is going down. But I think we have enough of it to the point where we're never going to really run out. And I just love these homing missiles. I mean, this is kind of effortless at this point. I just aim my mouse and hope for the best. So I'm happy with this. You know, we, we have the mines. We might need to improve that a little bit, but, but we'll try it out. So we're going to save this guy, and we're going to call it Dre's first drone. I got to say, I'm pretty happy for my first drone here. And we are going to launch it up. Now, I don't know what's going to come at us, guys. I've never actually done this part. I've just done the building. So this is all new to me, but I'm very, very excited. So here is... Oh, God. Okay, well, starting off strong, we're just going to kill everything that's coming towards us. Please leave me alone! I'm sorry I'm invading your planet, but you deserve it. Alright, let's go get this thing, and you can see that as we attack, it's actually destroying the ground as well, the terrain. So you can deform the terrain, get all these little guys off me. Oh my god, the damage output of this. Okay, so that is a hive. Get rid of that. We need to get rid of all the hives, and obviously all of its, uh, anti-air as well, because there is quite a bit of it. Let's get rid of this hive, because they're gonna keep coming until we destroy those. But we got those two. Let's get back here. Kill this. Yes, this is fantastic. You can see my fuel's actually doing rather well. Everything's more or less just fine right now, so I'm pretty happy with this. Haven't needed to use my shield. I probably should pop it on, though, but that's gonna waste energy. Alright, it seems like we did this part of the planet, so there's no more enemies. Let's try out the mining things. Okay, so yeah, I need to... I actually probably should s switch them, because if we can get a good beam going, I should be able to mine through this. That was not the best design, so that's something we can work on, that's for sure. Let's go and focus on getting the rest of this planet down, though. Alright, pop up my, uh, I don't like that I have to hold that. So that's one thing, I have to hold the button if I want my shield on. Uh, which means I can't really drive this, so, again, trial and error. Let's stand back, because this does have a blast radius when it does get destroyed. Oh my god, it won't die! There we go. Alright, pop that up. These guys look bigger and scary. What is that thing? Okay, that is the transmitter. That is completed. So we destroyed that. Ooh, we got another hive here. Get it down! There we go, see you later! And you can see, I am slowly running out of power, so... I'm just gonna... Ooh, man, I shouldn't have went this way. Let's get that hive down if we can. Yes! Shields up! There we go, we're a little bit more safe. Oh, I'm having a hard time steering. Did I get affected? Okay, now it's bad because we did just lose all of our power because of that shield, but it's still working. Come on, get that get that hive down. If we get this hive down, we might actually be okay. Uh, I don't know how much HP I have left though, so. Yeah, you know what? It's, uh, it's definitely seen better days, but it's not doing too bad either. Uh, problem is we don't have any of the, uh, thrusters on the back anymore, so all I have is my turning thrusters to go forward. We did everything, though. We did what we came here to do, which is destroy the planet. Destroy the hives and destroy the transmitter. They almost got me, but I'm still going. So I guess we can go back to Nimbatus, and we get the plasma rocket gun tower. Well, I did truly enjoy those rocket guns, so it's only going to be a little bit better when plasma's involved. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, now if we go back, we should, once we load up the galaxy, yes! Okay, so we did unlock a new area. And as you can see, this is kind of where it's like FTL, where you explore the galaxy. We got different types of planets we can go to. And I just accidentally traveled to one, so hopefully I didn't waste anything. I was just curious of it. Uh, so yeah, this one looks very similar to the last one. I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but you get the idea. There's actually, though, if we go over... Xera's Sumo Arena. So I believe uh, Sumo Arenas have to do with drones, so that is automated build. So we're not going to go there just yet. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to actually end it here, guys. I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. Let's just go back. And I want to select a drone and just test this out. So we got that new weapon. Let's go check it out. We'll edit the drone and uh, let's just change these weapons to those really, really quickly. So yes, here is, wait, plasma rocket gun tower. Wait, and 
plasma rocket gun tower. Ah, uh, these things look basically the same. Is it a different design? No, it actually looks just like it, so I'm a little bit confused. By the way, we built this perfectly because this is as big as we can build the craft. I mean, look at that. Because I can't seem to build out here, but I can put it in there. That is crazy to me how perfectly we built that just first try. So yeah, the HP is the same. The mass is the same. I can only assume... Let's actually just give it a test. Yeah, it's the same gun. So I wonder if it's totally random and we just got unlucky and we ended up getting the same gun. Or if it's automatically unlocked all the guns for me. So I guess, unfortunately, we didn't get the joy of a new gun. But regardless, we did build a pretty epic craft here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys do want to see some more of this, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, if you want to support the game, it's currently on Kickstarter. The links will be in the description. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.